Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Falarin Davis, and this right here is my YouTube channel. So today, we're gonna be making a wrist-mounted spring cannon. So the basic idea I'm going for is like one of those wrist cannons that Iron Man has, but like on a budget level. So basically, the basic idea I'm going for is um, a spring-loaded cannon that can fit all my wrists and actually be triggered by a button on uh, that I'll put on my finger or something. So that's the basic concept I'm going for. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the CAD I do. I'm gonna show you the animation. I'm gonna show you me testing it out. I'm gonna show you good parts, the bad parts. I'm gonna show you everything. So, but before we start that, I wanna say, please like, subscribe, comment, and yeah, so let's start. Okay, so now I just finished the CAD work for the spring-loaded rocket. So the basic principle I'm using with this is basic kinetic uh, potential energy stuff. So let me do the analysis. Basically, this servo right here holds the projectile in place right here. And this spring is being compressed. So right when this servo moves downward at about like 30 degrees, 40 degrees max, this spring will expand, releasing all that potential energy, turn it into kinetic energy and transferring it to this projectile here, which will cause it to move forward. I did make an animation of it, so I'll just show you guys that. And like that. That's the basic principle I'm going under. Okay, so I got all the electronics set up. I'm gonna show you what everything does right now because I know it kind of looks weird. Um, so I'm just plug it into this power bank first. The first thing I'm gonna show you is the laser. So basically when I tap the button once, laser goes on. Tap it again, laser goes off. And this is just like a short tap. Then for this servo connected to the spring cannon, if I hold down the same button, okay, the servo moves a specified angle. I press it again, moves back. Press it again, moves back, and I press it again. Okay, so I, I am gonna have to change that delay because that's a long delay. I think I set it for three and a half times as long as the first one, but I might just change it to two and a half because that's very long. Okay, so now if I get the projectile that I made, I'm gonna unload this real quick. Turn that laser off. So to load it, it's pretty simple. You just push the thing down the barrel Hold it down and it's hooked because on the projectile there's a small indent that allows the servo to hold it down. Okay, so now that I got that like that, if I just press hold, hold the button down, boom. And just like that. So now that I got it working, I am gonna get it to work my, with my Arduino Nano right here. Because I wanna get this to be able to fit on my arm, maybe about this size or something. And Mega is way too big for that. But I, So I'll just use the Arduino Nano. All right. So I just transferred everything to the Arduino Nano right now. And as you can see, it's much more compact. It looks uh, better, yeah. I'm also, I'm gonna test it out again to make sure everything works. I loaded up the new code, which uh, makes the long press much shorter. And I printed out some new projectiles so you can actually see what I'm talking about. So that right there, I'm not sure if you can see it, is the ridge where the servo holds them down so they can fly, so they don't just fly out. And these two uh, wings or fins right here, I don't think they add any help in aerodynamics. They just look cool and they allow them to stay within the railing so I can load them in right every time. 
So yeah, now we're gonna test it one more time. Then after that, I'm gonna, we're gonna solder everything, make a new body and really test it out. All right, so I know this is part of the video everyone's been waiting for. Finally, we're actually done with this thing. Like, I got it all put together. It's mountable on my wrist. I even have the ring thing for the button and everything. The laser. Yeah. So this project, I've been thinking about doing it for a couple months, but I only really actually got the concept and everything right now. Because if you even notice, I got like one, two, three, uh, probably got more, I just threw them away. I got different types of projectiles. I got different springs. I had, I tried so many different ways to get this to work the right way. And finally, I'm actually at that point. So I'm gonna mount this on my wrist. I don't really have a mount. I'm just gonna use some double-sided mounting tape. Hopefully that sticks. I'm gonna use, cause I'm not gonna use hot glue. Um, I'm gonna use that mounted on my wrist put the ring on see everything if everything works try some shooting and everything and yeah all right so what's up everybody so right now we're gonna test the wrist cannon thing as you can see i still got it plugged in so it won't work with it like that so the basic idea is i got the pellet right here i slide it in press the button Oh, it's not even on. Give me a second. It's plugged in right now. Razor on, razor off. I hold the button. Wait, this one. Yeah, so that just went away. I was gonna try that one more time. I got a few more pellets. Okay, so this right here is the pellet going in slow motion. Okay, so we're finally at that time. This is the end of the video. So first I want to say thank you for reaching the end of the video. I really appreciate that. And second, I want to say I'm really happy that I actually reached this point in the project. That I actually finished because I had to go through like six seven different prototypes hours of printing like it was just annoying and even the code too was a little stressful but i actually finished that and second i want to say i have a lot of ideas for a mark ii for this so if you want to see that just subscribe and turn on the post notification so you guys will be aware okay so like comment subscribe and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one